video I will show you how to install Excel Trader. Open the zip folder that you downloaded. In there you'll find another folder called Excel Trader. And inside that folder you'll see an Excel Trader in all caps. This is the one that has all of the add-ins and templates and files we need. Also, if you downloaded Excel Planets or the bundle, here's a font you may need to install for the astrological symbols. Now what you want to do is move this Excel Trader folder, the one in all caps, to a location where you'll permanently store it. And you need to have read-write access to that location because you're going to be moving add-ins and files uh, templates in and out of that directory over time. So I'll go ahead and move this one over into my documents folder. Now before we install the add-in we need to make some adjustments in Excel. Go into Excel and in the File tab select Options and then select Trust Center then Trust Center Settings and we need to change two locations here. For Macro Settings we need to make sure we have disable all macros except for digitally signed macros uh, the add-ins from Excel Trader add-ins are all digitally signed. Uh, if you're using other add-ins from other people, you may not want to choose this. You may want to keep it at the low setting of Enable All Macros. And then also in Add-in section, you might want you want to have it select Require Add-ins be signed by a trusted publisher. Later we'll come back and we'll add a trusted location. Not all of the add-ins are signed and the ones that are not signed, the XLLs, TALIB.XLL, uh, will cause a flag, uh, a warning flag, because it's not signed. So we'll want to make the uh, Excel Trader folder a trusted location. Let's close all that and go back over to the Excel Trader folder. There's only one file in here you need to concern yourself with, and that's this the the Excel Trader add-in. Click on that to open it. And you'll get the security warning. What we want to do is enable this button that says trust from all publishers. We do that by going Show Signature Details, View Certificate, Install Certificate, and in the wizard, uh, we want to click on this option to place all certificates in the following store, then Browse, and choose Trusted Root Certification Authorities. If you choose a different location, like uh, you might think that it should be put into Trusted Publishers, if you do that, that uh, button will not be enabled. So we want to choose this location here. Say OK. And that puts it here. We say Next. And then Finish. We get this security warning and we say yes, we want to install the certificate. Import was successful, so we say OK. 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 Now we can select this button, Trust All from Publisher. Uh, all of the add-ins from Excel Trader add-ins will now be trusted. Now that installs Excel Trader, you can see up here. Now look, the next thing we want to do is go in and set the trusted location.
So we go back into options, go back to trust center, go back to trust center settings, and we're going to add a new location. And we will want to browse to where we put the folder. Uh, it's in documents. In, in my case, it's in documents. So there it is. Just click on that. That gives the uh, path to the folder. We say OK. Now, that's a trusted location. So we say OK. Back out of here. Now, from, we can install the add ins from the Excel Trader menu. Um, let's install Excel Indicators. And even though this opens the TA Live add-in that we, is not signed, since we made it a trusted location, we did not get a warning. So that's how you s install Excel Trader and the add-ins. You can install all the add-ins from this menu here, and you can remove them one by one by selecting on this box and choosing Uninstall or by selecting Remove Excel Trader, which removes all of the add-ins. If you're not going to be using Excel Trader, you might want to uninstall the add-ins so they don't take up any of your system resources. Now, if you get decide you're not going to use Excel Trader at all anymore and you want to get rid of the tab, you can do that by going into your Options, Add-ins, then down here where it says Manage Excel Add-ins, press Go. That brings up the form and you can uncheck these boxes here which will uninstall Excel Trader. So let's just do that to demonstrate and say OK. Now Excel Trader is completely gone now if you decide you want it back again you can also you don't have to go navigate to the folder and click on it again you can simply go back in here into your options add-ins manage add-ins and put a check mark next to the add-in you want to install now one thing you will notice is there are no templates showing. Um, let's install the cell indicators again. See, you don't have access to the templates and you always begin with the template. So, what you have to do is close Excel and reopen it. Now you see the templates. Um, so that's how you use Excel or how you install Excel Trader add-ins into Office 2010.